so like I told you, I got a room to myself. I'm gonna give you a quick tour. That's the door right there. Going here, like I said, my own bathroom. Toilet, sink, shower. You know, it's all very nice and clean, which is certainly a change. All right, like I told you, it's kind of cramped. So you walk through here. See, it's a room for two people, but obviously I have it to myself. Uh, you know, like I said, I got a little desk here. I got the room to myself so I can read my Cosmo in peace and quiet. Uh, desk, chair, and then of course, like I told you, there's a couch. See? Eh. Nice. And you got the drapes here. You got a porthole, which I closed it because it's nighttime. And, uh, yeah, you need to close it if you want the uh, drapes closed. So anyways, yeah, I was just sitting here all night watching movies, chilling out. Indeed. That's the tour of the room. Okay, so here we are down in the galley. There's some of the fruit. Ah, uh, you know, main courses. Here's all the sandwich shit I was telling you about. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Oh, it was good. It was tasty. You can see the caviar, the bright red, and the black. Like I told you, they had two types. Here's basically the same thing, but just from the other side. Just more sandwich making materials. Uh, here's all the cheeses, like I told you, I couldn't identify all the cheeses, but and now we have the salad bar. So, you know, vegetables that are fro or fresh or frozen, not canned vegetables like you always get. And that uh, concludes that tour. Okay, let me conclude the tour and give you a couple more updates. Uh, you, uh, you probably couldn't really see it in the video, but like the silverware and the plates and everything was nice. It wasn't those cheap plastic dishes you always get. No, I mean, we're talking like ceramic or porcelain dishes. Ooh, see, I even stole myself one of the coffee mugs. See, none of the little cheap little paper cups. No, actual porcelain, ceramic, whatever. Silverware itself was like a nice restaurant quality silverware, not the cheap ass cafeteria type shit. Uh, what else? Oh, there's something else I was going to tell you, but I, I wanted to wait until I got back on land because uh, I know this will probably piss you off, but um, like I just said, I want to wait until it was back on land so you wouldn't want me to buy it, but uh, they had a store on board. <clears throat> where you could buy, you know, like certain essentials, soap, and they'd sell candy and shit like that. And because, uh, you know, from a legal point of view, I, I was in the country of Denmark, so I was on Danish foreign soil anyways, I could have bought you a carton of Marlboros, a carton of cigarettes, Marlboro, Marlboros, for $17. A carton of Marlboros for $17. Uh, uh, but I know you're trying to quit, otherwise your dad's going to buy that motorcycle. Oh, uh, what else can I share? Uh, I think I was about all the details I had from that job. Anyways, I'm sitting in a hotel room right now on this other job where I'm doing the aerial surveys. Uh, they... I was told, you know, it's like, okay, you'll fly the aerial survey and you go back to the hotel room. At the end, I'm like, okay, no big deal. So I get to the hotel, and I arrange to have the hotel for two nights. So I'm flying around doing their aerial surveys, and after it's done, it's like, I hear them call on the radio to the helicopter. Yeah, you need to land on such and such platform, drop off the fisheries guy. We'll send a boat to pick him up so he can stay on the lift boat. I'm like, oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> I don't think so. So we land on this platform. It was a man platform, so I go in, make a phone call, and tell the company rep, like, yeah, I was told I'd be staying in a hotel tonight. That's where all my shit is. Eh. So, anyways, yeah, I figured the company rep would be, like, pissed off or something. He's like, oh, okay, no big deal. We'll just fly out in the morning then. Whatever. I was like, okay. <laughs> anyway, so I got back to land, like, uh, 11. I would have made it back to the hotel room close to 
11.30, but, you know, like I told you, I got wicked lost, so it was cutting into my drinking time. It was horrible. So, yeah, go figure. I'm sitting in a hotel room, drinking my beers, whiskey, and whatnot. Uh, give me another couple hours. I'll have to go find something to eat, I'm sure. I think that's about all I had to share. Okay, don't work too hard at uh, Texas Tech. Go Red Raiders.